Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Vincent Sresta, and today I'm going to present a brief overview of my project that is the crack propagation in aircraft fuselage stiffen skin panel. A fuselage is an essential part of the aircraft which is responsible for the safety of few passenger and cargo. It serves to position and stabilize the aircraft for the improved performance and the maneuverability. The aircraft fuselage cell consists of compressed skin, longitudinal stringer, and the circumferential frames. The skin is connected to both frames and stringer primarily by the series of rivet. An airplane fuse structure must bear a wide range of load and stress while being a lightweight. That's why aluminum alloy has been the most common fuselage material over the past 80 years. The primary source of stress in this structure is the internal pressure at the high altitude, which is generated by the difference in cabin pressurization and the decrease in outside pressure as the altitude increases. The fuselage is pressurized and depressurized during each takeoff and landing cycle of the aircraft. As a result of which, the metal skin of fuselage get expands and contracts, which ultimately leads to the metal fatigue. It is therefore necessary to study about the crack propagation and initiation in the fuselage. Here in this study, the effect of internal pressure when the fuselage has a crack is investigated. In this study, the SOLIDOC 2019 is used for the geometric modeling of fuselage and Abacus 2020 is used for the finite element analysis. Furthermore, modified crack closure integral VCCT and the stress matching method of which, which we studied during our lecture class would be implemented in the finite element calculation. In order to perform the stress analysis, a sectional cut of the fuselage is taken and a rectangular stiffened panel with the driven loads and boundary condition are applied for the analysis. This is the geometric configuration of the Stephen panel. For this analysis, an uniaxial loading and a differential internal pressure of 6.5 psi is considered, from which the corresponding hoop stress developed in the model is calculated. With the help of hoop stress, we can determine the tensile load, and the tensile load is applied on the cross section of Stephen panel in transverse axial direction on the edge of ski nine frame. Since it is the case of uniaxial loading, the stringer are not subjected to loading as they are passing in longitudinal direction. On the other end, all the edge nodes of the panel are constant in all six degree of freedom. Here, the model is meshed with the head element, and this is the rivet location, and this is the crack opening. After the analysis, it can be found that the maximum stress is observed at rivet location where the rebates are used to fasten the frames and stringer to the skin, and the maximum tensile stress is found to be 81.51 MPa. In general, longitudinal cracks are initiated from the rebate holes at maximum stress location. Skin is the most critical stress location for the crack initiation. Here in this study, stress concentration factor can be used as an indicator for the crack initiation, which demonstrates that once the crack initiated from the rebates, they link up with the other rivet, eventually becoming the lead crack and resulting to the catastrophe. Failure. Here, the graph of stress intensity factor versus distance ahead of crack tip is plotted in one graph and in another graph using the modified virtual crack closure integral. The graph of crack length versus stress intensity factor is plotted. Both the graph shows the same trait that is, the stress intensity factor increases with the crack length and also the strain energy release rate. The fracture toughness of aluminum for 2 mm thickness is 2288.54 MPa. In the reality, the fuselage of the aircraft structure is exposed to the variety of types of loading, including the pressurization load, aerodynamics load, reaction load, and so on. Due to all these loads, the value of stress intensity factor may exceed the fracture toughness of material, which is the case of material failure. The crack widens in longitudinal direction due to the loading in the transfer direction, which can be shown in this figure. The energy is stored in the material due to elasticity, and this energy is based when the crack propagates and it promotes the creation of new fracture surfaces. To wrap up the whole idea, a linear static stress analysis was carried out on the instrument panel, considering the uniaxial loading and the differential internal pressure of 6.5 psi. The maximum stress is found at the mouse hole and rebate location as a result of uniaxial loading. Cracks are initiated from the rebate hole, link off with the adjacent rebate, becoming the lead cap and ultimately fall catastrophically. Additionally, as a result of applied pressure and bounding condition, crack propagate in a longitudinal direction with uniaxial loading. The further study can be made on crack initiation and propagation by considering the 3D geometry with the biaxial loading. The fatigue life of fuses can also be calculated using the power law if we consider the minimum and maximum load. This was today and thank you everyone.